welcome everyone in this video we are going to solve a simple numerical on the strength of the bolding sharing and being so let's start with our numerical two plates 200 mm by 8 mm are to be connected by 16 mm diameter bolts in a lab joint calculate the strength of for the black type bolts take the grade of the bolt as a 4.6 and take ultimate strength of the plate as a 410 newton per mm square diagram is also given to you showcasing the two plates attached with the six number of bolts in the lab joint so first writing down the given details small d that is the diameter of the bolt equals to 16 mm d no that is the diameter of the bolt hole this will be as per the table number 19 of the is 800 so as per the table number 90 for the nominal size of the bolt 16 to 22 mm the additional clearance to be provided equals to 2 mm so therefore in our case d node equals to 16 plus 2 that is 18 mm next thickness of the plate t equals to 8 mm now we have to calculate the piece distances and a end distance so again we go to back to our diagram and we refer the given diagram if a tensile load is applied as shown then the center to center distance between the two bolts in the direction of the loading will be piece distance and the distance between the edge of the plate and the center of the bolt in the direction of the loading will be the end distance hence as per the given diagram the piece distance is given as a 16 mm and the end distance is given as a 30 mm so therefore small p that is the piece distance equals to 16 and small e that is the edge distance equals to 40 mm okay so starting with our first step strength of the bolt in the single shear so as per is 800 VNSB equals to FUB divided by the root three multiplied by the in bracket NN into ANB plus NS into ASB. In this formula, VNSB means nominal shear capacity of the bolt. FU means ultimate tensile strength of the bolt. NN means number of the shear planes with thread in intercepting the shear plane, and NS means number of the shear plane with shank intercepting the shear plane. Okay. ASB means nominal plane shank area of the bolt. AMB means net shear area of the bolt at the threads. So, let's understand this in the detail. Suppose there are two plates connected in the lab joint as shown in the figure, with two bolts and a tensile load is acting on them. When the load exceeds the shear strength of the bolt, it is sheared in the two parts. The location where the shear happen is known as the shearing plane. In the given figure, there are one shear plane. So now let fit the actual bolt in there. The bolt will have two areas or the portion. One is plane shank area and the other is the thread area or the portion. When we place this bolt in the lab joint and apply the tension load, it will shear once the loading exceeds the shear capacity of the bolt, and the shearing of the bolt takes in the two parts. Again. the location where the shearing has occurred will be known as your shear plane now here the shear plane is in the shank area if it happens to be shear in the threaded area it will be known as a shearing through the threaded portion as there is only one shear plane in this scenario it will be known as a single shear so if there are two shear planes it will be known as double shear the portion or the area from which the shear occurs will be known as your uh, shear area So here, the on the shear shear occurs, and that is to along the shank area. So again, V N S B will be equals to shear capacity of the bolt based on our given formula. F U V will be the ultimate strength of the bolt. It is the strength at which the bolt will break apart or it will shear. As per our grade of the bolt is given as a four point six, the F U V will be equals to four multi times hundred. That is four hundred M P A. If it was given as a five point six, then we have to calculate the fub as a 5u multiplied by 100 and then and ns will be the number of shear plane through the shank portion and the threaded portion respectively now in this our case bolt is in the single shear and only one shear plane will be there and that will be through the shank portion hence nn equals to the one and ns will be equals to 0 and asb and an will be the area of the shank and the threaded portion so the shank area will be simple circular cross section area hence it will be pi by 4 d square that will be equals to 201 mm square and in the thread portion the area will be reduced compared to the shank area due to the threads and as per is 800 it should be equals to 0.78 times the shank area 
Now all the values are there. So let's calculate the shear strength of the board. Putting the values in the formula, we get Vn is equals to 360 kilonewton. Now to get the design shear strength, we have to divide the nominal strength with the partial factor of safety, which is for the bolt is 1.25 in ultimate stress, and hence the design strength of the bolt in the shear will be equals to 360 divided by 1.25 1 that equals to 288 kilonewton. Next is the bearing capacity of the board. For this, the formula is VNPB equals to 2.5 KB multiplied by D multiplied by T multiplied by FU. Now here, VNPB is a nominal bearing strength of the bolt. Small d is a diameter of the bolt, which equals to here 16 mm. Small t is a thickness of the thinner plate. Okay, hence here t will be equals to 8 mm. So if there are two plates, one is of the 12 mm and other is of the 10 mm, then small t that is the thickness of the thinner plate will be equals to the 10 mm fu will be the ultimate tensile strength of the plate material which is given as a 410 mpa now kb is a constant which is minimum of the following four values first one is e 3d naught second one is p 3d naught minus 0 0.25 then fu be divided by fu and one Putting the given values in the equation, we get the four values as 0 0.741, 0 0.86, 0 0.97 and 1. Hence, from these four values, the minimum value is 0 0.741, which is the value of the K. Putting all the values in the VNPB formula, we get VNPB equals to 97 kN. Again, to get a design bearing strength, we have to divide the nominal bearing strength by the partial factor of the safety that is 1.25 so design bearing strength of the bolt will be equal to 97 divided by 1.25 that is 77 kilonewton so that's all of this this is how we calculate the shear and bearing strength of the bolt in the lab joint subscribe us for the more content like this and and comment if there are any doubts thank you